For the longest time, I've longed for a place where my buildings and my technical problem solving can fuse and create something unique. Hey guys, Vigo Man here and welcome to Vigo's Island. I really hope that you guys don't mind, but I have finished some of the early game grinding. I assume you all have seen this so many times already on YouTube. This is my first time playing on Minecraft 1.18, and to be honest, I'm super excited and a little bit scared. So we are here in a brand new Minecraft survival world on a 1.18 version, which is super exciting. And as you can see, the landscape here is absolutely stunning. Here you can see a map of the area we are living in and you might be wondering, Vigo, weren't you supposed to be on an island? And you're right, it's not an island yet and I, I wanted to be an island eventually. I just kind of liked the name and decided to go with the name before I actually found a seed. So what I want to do in the future is actually go ahead and do some massive digging work and dig out this entire peninsula so that it becomes an island and the name actually fits, which is kind of cool, I guess. Would you look at that, a ruined portal and it's only missing one, so this, or actually we can fix that real quick if we want to go to the nether soon and the golden sword i don't mind if i do <laughs> hello there crazy boy what are you doing that is actually so adorable look at him and i even believe he has his tongue stuck out like that if you look closely please stand still look uh, look how cute it is i'm definitely coming back for you later oh no don't want to fall down there look at this massive cavern here that is actually insane it's it's probably the sickest one i've seen in, from any other youtuber on this new update here and it's actually like a village no, no, not a village like a mine shaft down there and you can see the watering clay stuff which i really like and just the uh, uh, wine hanging from the ceiling here and then this floaty thing this is so epic for the first episode of this series my main goal is to get settled build a little starter base get some decent farms up and running so that we can survive and i want you guys to come with your suggestions and input so that we can shape this world here or island i guess into exactly what we want it to be so firstly i want to put these uh, chickens here to good use build a little chicken farm i suppose maybe an automatic one uh, so we can get some steady food in coming because right now i'm living on melon slices and honestly they're tasty they're delicious but they're not really nutrition so there we go and automatic protein source here where we get some nice fried up chicken eventually they haven't really started producing anything but soon and very soon we will get some delicious fried chicken am i the only one who hates these christmas chests i get it they're cozy it's the holidays it makes sense but honestly i kind of prefer the default ones well guys it's time for us to start building a little bit of a starter base here i have gathered plenty of resources it should be more than enough i hope so why don't we just crack on some music and do some building Oh wow, this is looking pretty fancy. I love this design. The way we have circles within circles and smaller circles. A while back, everyone was doing these amazing hobbit houses for their survival worlds. And sadly, I never got in on it. And I have a feeling it would be kind of lame of me to start doing hobbit houses at this point. But I kind of want to do it anyway, so I decided to do my own unique design. It's not like the common hobbit houses you see all over YouTube and Minecraft worlds around the world. It's my own design, it's circular, but it has the same features. It's kind of built into the hillside here. It's very cozy, a lot of wood, rounded shapes. I do love it. I also found two new friends, and it seems like they found each other as well. Because now we have a third one here, a small, cute baby cow. Hello, <laughs> don't be shy. It's kind of hiding. Or maybe it's drinking from the others. I don't know, but hello. I believe in a high protein diet, so we can never get enough of these animals here. Just realize I'm gonna get a lot of hate from the vegans out there. I wonder if anyone is playing Minecraft as a vegan. That would be a kind of fun challenge, I suppose. Well, guys, I guess all of you are wondering, what does this house look like on inside? And, and answer might might surprise you. It's it's stunning, actually. It's, it's, um, it's not done. <laughs> but, but I want to try to to do a cool design here. Uh, I'm not gonna put all my effort into this because uh, we're gonna move on to bigger base eventually, but 
I do want this to be cozy. I, I need a place where I can just chill out in between exploring and building and mining and all that stuff that is just uh, convenient, cozy uh, and uh, suitable for, for, a pl for a dude like me, you know? And the chests are back to normal and I realized how long I've been working on this episode for. And that is kind of one of the ideas I do have for this series here. As always for my projects, it's quality over quantity. And especially for this one, I really want to put a lot of effort into every single episode so that I can immerse myself 100% into my world and play for maybe weeks for one single episode. Which means that every single episode hopefully will be amazing. During today's episode, I've been doing quite a bit of mining as you can see and exploring and all that sort of stuff stuff uh, but what I want to do for the upcoming videos is that I want to do a mining session for one hour as I've done with previous series and I want you guys to come with a guess of how many diamonds we will find in the next video today we have 15 and what I want to do is actually to to craft myself some more upgrades here because we're running iron and we can upgrade some I don't really know how many I, I'm not such a pro uh, but I want to make a diamond pickaxe and see if we can get some fortune on that because that is very very good uh, and then uh, I don't know maybe boots or should we do what's best I, I don't know guys I, I'm really bad at this um, before I start the interior of the starter house, I need to go to the nether because there is one block in particular I want to use. I wasn't there for long because I quickly realized why I hate that place. So the interior turned out so much better than I was anticipating. So let's check it out. What I've done here is I've created like a super... Oh, hello? Did you guys hear that? I think we, ha we have a visitor. Hello. I, I don't want to look at him. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, that, that sound freaks me out all the time. Uh, but what we have here is like a super cramped, um, chaotic kind of interior because we have a circular shape. It's kind of tricky to get a nice layout in here. But what I have done is we have all the different layers and um, yeah, staircases going back and forth like this. And it just creates a really unique atmosphere in here. For the first floor, we just really have this open area here. We have this cool effect where we use the... I, also, I think it's called Crimson... Can we check that out? What are you? Warped stem. Warped. Okay. Um, we have that block here. Uh, and I have also used that in here. Like a little storage room. Eventually we're going to build a massive one. Uh, I hope. But for now this definitely works. Uh, and the next task will be to just move all the items in here. So that we can kind of clear up the outside a little bit. Then I have a little hole in the ground here. Uh, this is mainly for decorational purposes. I want to do something below here for uh, like the entrance to the mine eventually. Uh, so it's just yeah, open like that. So you can look down just for... Yeah, it looks cool, I guess. Up here we have the little bedroom area. So again, we have the warped uh, planks here. And this is where uh, I'm going to be sleeping. Um... And it's kind of nice. Love the wooden textures we have all over the place here. We also have some sugarcane and some bushes and stuff in here to kind of fit the jungle team. Uh, over here we have um, some leaves, some supports, all that kind of stuff. I love the kind of arching theme we got going here with like circular arches here. The roof itself. And then we have this spruce beam as well which is kind of curved. Uh, and then I'm not really sure what to do here. Probably just like some decoration, some tables or a sofa or something uh, just for the fun of it. But all the way up here, I want to have an enchanting area uh, because, uh, yeah, kind of good to have that to begin with. So we can get some uh, fortune tree and stuff on these, uh, the diamonds and stuff or pickaxes just to, to get a good going on the diamonds real quick. Uh, so that's what I want to do up here, like uh, have some bookshelves, make it kind of magical, cool, and then an enchanting table in the middle. We are back in the nether and I think I have pissed off some people. Hello, <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I forget all the time that you need to wear gold uh, and now I'll probably be dead pretty soon. But what I'm here for is the glowing... Uh, Man, it's been so long, I can't remember what they're called. 
Oh, hello. <laughs> hello there, Enderman. Uh, 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 these glowing things, uh, they are on most of these, right? Room lights, yes. I want to have a couple of those because I think they can be like a cool way of lighting up the, the starter base. So what we're going to do is just collect a couple of these and I'm going to show you a cool design I have. Oh, look at this. This is lucky find. And then quickly just get back to the overworld because I really do hate this place. So my idea is that since we have these uh, double walls here, uh, we can actually put light inside them like so so i want to have like a couple of these just kind of scattered around and i think that's going to be like a cool effect because uh, the whole house is pretty random like we have random circles everywhere and this kind of do look like a circle so if we can just kind of spread these randomly around in the stone walls i think that's going to look uh pretty nice so here maybe i don't know like that just to get some light and we can remove the torches um yeah i think that's that's pretty maybe move it up a little bit nah let's keep it like that for now we have one up there as well and maybe we'll have nah i think we're good or maybe not I don't, it's really dark in here it's hard to tell uh maybe one here i don't want to put them too close to the window but i guess it might work it doesn't look too bad actually and now what i want to do is to move all of my items into this place so we can finally get rid of this ugly setup we have here clean this area up a little bit and it's all going to be looking a lot better chests are gone items have been moved and we did run into a little bit of a problem with a not so friendly neighbor and we have started filling up the, the chests here with rocks wood and all sort of stuff i still want to go around and add a little bit more detail to this place and what i want to do now is that as you can see i have a couple of paintings so i want to see if we can get some nice uh, decorative paintings around here just for like that and we can have like a couple of these uh, maybe over here this place we could have like a, one of the long ones there we go and just kind of scatter them around just to get a little bit additional color in here uh up there maybe we could have like um yeah let's go for one of those smaller ones perfect yeah, this is looking amazing. I love this place. And that, my friends, it's going to be it for today's episode. It was a lot of fun doing this one. And it's always such a blast being back. Perfect timing. Rain, thank you so much <laughs> it's always such a blast being back with some survival you know you know the feel the first time you're joining or not the first time but uh when you're joining a survival world just playing around looking at the landscape doing the the first mining the first uh building crafting all that stuff it's just such a such a great feeling and, and it can't really be it can't really be explained but i'm really glad to be back here with some survival i hope you guys are excited as well if so make sure to let me know down below with a comment in the next episode we're going to be checking out some of the massive new caves with uh, this update here especially the one over there i think which uh, we saw earlier in the video because that was absolutely huge it, it's the, the biggest cave i've seen in minecraft so far so i'm super excited to check that out it's going to be a lot of fun and of course just continue the normal survival grind it's going to be a lot of fun but guys thank you so much for watching really do hope that you enjoyed if so make sure to smack that like button and if you haven't done it already make sure to subscribe it's been Vigoman, and i'm out